Okay, so training juvenile detention officers in life skills, that's one of the many things that the Multicare Youth Foundation is aiming to do. And zooming in to give us more details, Alicia Glasgow Gentles, Executive Director of the Multicare Youth Foundation. Morning, Alicia, how are you doing? Good morning, well, nice. Good to see you, good to see you. For those who don't know much about the organization, let's start there, tell us a little bit about it and then we'll go into the program. Okay, great. The Multicare Youth Foundation is actually uh, an amalgamation of three youth serving organizations. So the youth program, which is youth upliftment through employment, um, the Multicare Foundation, which has been serving inner city youths for the, the last 28 years, as well as Youth Opportunities Unlimited. Okay. And, and together as one family under the MYF, we are really targeting our social interventions at young people who are at medium and high risk to involvement in crime and violence. So that's really what we're about. Um, we have really taken a new strategic direction in the last year, and we are focusing on those youth who have the highest potential of being captured in that life of crime and violence. And so many of our programs are, are designed to provide life skills and mentorship that will allow them to be steered away from crime and violence, mm -hmm. so that is our what, what a noble job, must be a very difficult job as well. Um, uh, context provided, uh, a recently conducted study is saying that youth within the 16 to 24 age group account for 49.4% of all major crimes, with yes. males representing 98% of those arrested. 98%. That is, is a lack. That yes. is a big and, red flag. Right. And, and 16 to 24, uh, that percentage, when you look at all crimes, youth actually make up for more than 75% 75, 75 of all crimes. So it, it really is... Um, My it's God. Just it's, it's an urgent matter that needs address, addressing. And so we are just trying to play our role along with some key partners to be able to to you know, make a dent in this issue, um, to be able to help Jamaica move forward in terms of uh, our young people being um, prepared with skills to be able to become productive citizens. Mm -hmm. What is it? Yeah, um, uh, what is at the root of it? What, what has your work shown you that is causing this 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 um, this involvement? This what's at the root of it? Uh, Simone, it is such a complex issue, right? Um, low academic achievement, a lot of our young people are, uh, are illiterate, to be honest. Um, they, they, they lack protective factors such as having a tight family. Um, you know, a lot of, I, t I was talking to a, a girlfriend yesterday about this idea of connection. And what happens is that when a father is absent from the home and it is a single parent home and the mother has to work, a lot of the times these young people form connections with other young people in the community to feel a sense of belonging. And often that belonging is with a gang. Correct. Or, um, you know, young people who are not productive. Correct. So, Correct. Um, so, we're really, so even our mentorship program is really designed to create those protective factors that will allow um, connections to positive people who will help young people to move into positive directions. In and I've lives. heard so many stories of those experiencing changing young people's lives and then the young people go back into the communities from which they come and change those communities one life at a time. So it's, these programs are critical to changing the faces of certain situations, um, communities, there are change agents that you're trying to create. So tell me about this program with Rio Cobra okay. and how it came about. Well, you know, interestingly, this is a, a program that is funded by the USAID uh, through uh, FHI 360. And it's called a core partners program. I'm really proud of FHI 360 for the work that they have been doing because we've been calling in the third sector, we've been calling for this level of collaboration, interagency collaboration. And so this, pro this core, core partners pro program is what they're calling it, is a collaboration between the MYF um, the Violence Prevention Alliance and the Peace Management Initiative. And together we have uh, co-designed a program over, over 26 months 
that's going to address uh, key social interventions. So Multicare, for example, will be doing life skills and mentorship, while PMI uh, will be hosting their, their camps and, and doing another, uh, a lot of other initiatives as, uh, as well as the, the VPA. So our role in this is really to target young people in four juvenile detention centers as well as in 10 schools. And the way we're doing that is we are doing a train-the-trainer model mm -hmm. through using our Passport to Success Life Skills program, which is actually a, an international program developed by the International Youth Foundation. And we're going to be training probational officers, correctional officers, and administrators in the system to be able to deliver these life skills to the young people in the centers, as well as teachers, guidance counselors, and administrators in the school system. So. We're looking at 10 schools overall. We're starting with five. But this morning's workshop actually starts. We, we do a four-day train-the-trainer workshop, and we're focusing today on the remand centers. So at the end of it, we will have certified trainers of life skills in the remand centers to be wow. able to help um, deliver the curriculum to the young people directly. Yeah, we thank you for your work. And, and help, that helps with the sustainability too, Simone. For sure, for sure, for sure. It is a... It's a big job, but I know Multicare Youth Foundation is not giving up. I know the partners and stakeholders with whom you work because we can't afford to give up because the future of our nation is at stake. And so we thank you so much. We have to go to news. Alicia, thank you for your time this morning and all thank the best, every success with this program. We are all vested in it and rooting for its success. I appreciate the support. Thank you. Alicia Glasgow Gentles, Executive Director of the Multicare Youth Foundation. My gosh. All right, love, always in the air, still to come. We're gonna have a heart to heart with lovebirds, Keisha Campbell and Marlon Williams. But first, we're heading to the newsroom for an update on our 6.30 package. News in Five is next. Full time for us to centralize, socialize, and begin